Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen along with the insane Daryl Wayne. We're going to go to um, Malibu, California, and uh, we're going to be visiting with Sigmar Berg. We're going to talk about his journey, and we're going to talk about his new book, One Journey, The Love Tuner's Book, uh, published by uh, Waterside Productions. Uh, uh, Sigmar, welcome to Late Night Health. Thank you for having me on your excellent show. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, let's tell me about you first of all. Um, you've had a, a spiritual journey for thirty-two years. Um, so, at thirty, you're about thirty-six. So, you started very young. Tell us about that. Uh, you know, my 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 entire journey, um, let's say the spiritual journey, came like as a as everybody else's, I think. And I was like very silent about it. I, I got was raised in Europe. Uh, religion was a big thing. It was institutional in the in the schools. And at one point, I I just like whatever. I I think I didn't vibe. I it was not in frequency and there, it was with what was taught and what was expected from us. And and this made me think about it and be something bigger. You know, we all know that there's a huge power out there, whatever you want to call it, God or and but I just was I was looking behind the institutions and and this was something what brought me on my journey and I had a mentor back then I was uh, in high school and, and he was a very smart man he could fluently speak speak Latin and, and he brought me onto a journey um, about like you know mind body spirit and he brought it into a connection for me and I think from this point on I was just open to a lot of things. And I was not very public with this at all. And um, about 10 years ago, uh, all these experiences, all my knowledge came together. And I got introduced to the 528 hertz frequency. Back then, I was already meditating on a daily basis. And yeah, this, this frequency literally opened up a complete new field for me. And not only what I saw at the beginning, that it's a very profound breathing device, that you can meditate and you reach the state of meditation in no time. So we even had a lot of research about this. But what it opened up for me was a complete new lifestyle. And it actually goes into, into healing, healing the individual and healing humanity. And this all comes down to frequency and vibration. Either if it's our health care system or it's if you're, your spiritual practice. Meditation's become more mainstream in the last ten or fifteen, maybe even twenty years. You you can you can be anything and still meditate. I mean, religiously or spiritually, you can have religion. It doesn't matter. Um, when you started your meditation journey, did you? What what was the reaction of of friends and family at the beginning? Um, I, I was never really out with this, so I never shared this kind of stuff. I always kept it very personal, and I think um, it was a good thing to do because it's still something where people go like, yeah, well, meditation, you know, it's just like even now so many people meditate, everybody knows it's healthy, but it's still something where people go like, well, I, I don't believe in it. And and for me, I was never public about this kind of stuff. I shared it only with close friends who had same experiences in life and uh but later on with with the development of love you know obviously at one point i had to come out and say i believe in, in bless work i believe in meditation and um yeah this is this is actually when the change happened so when it became actually my profession this is when i the first time i stepped out and talked about it but still today i have friends that wear love tuner and they have powerful uh, positions in Hollywood or in the business world, and they're wearing suits and whatever they do, and uh, they are wearing the love chain underneath. They would never even, till today, will not say this is my spiritual hygiene or my meditation device. They do it very privately for themselves, and they keep it as a as a secret weapon. And and this is it's actually, yeah. I I don't really care if people do it publicly or if they do it secretly. I think. Uh, it happens on a on a metaphysical level that it changes, vibration changes. You said something that that struck me as being a little humorous. You said that 
you have friends or clients who have horrible positions in business. <laughs> I, I said powerful ones, but obviously the powerful ones often have horrible positions. Got it. Uh, do you think that the world is becoming more spiritual? Um, I mean, we have all kinds of issues. I mean, the, the issues right now are driving me nuts and from the Middle East, for example. Um, here in Thousand Oaks last week, a man was killed during a, a peaceful protest. Uh, uh, I was in San Francisco over the weekend. There is a massive protest. Um, and I won't say on which sides, but it it bothers me. But in general, is this the beginning of Armageddon? <laughs> or, is, uh, or, or is the world just kind of shaking around a little bit saying you know meditation is is something that we should be doing i i'm i'm a, I'm a strong believer into this so absolutely i i think meditation can really change and even the dalai lama said if every kid with eight years would meditate the next generation would have no war and when we look at the craziness in our world right now and what people actually really want and what's really going on, this is like two different pairs of shoes. And uh, and I don't believe in a political solution anymore. You know, this attracts us so much, you know, the wrong people are in power. And I think when humanity unites, no matter which race you belong or whatever belief system you have, I think a spiritual revolution can really change because you, you know, like we, we are the, the, the majority, you know, you know what I mean? It's just like, if we could unify, then we could overcome this. But, uh, you know, our society is built in more and more separation, and you see this fundamental craziness. Um, Even, uh, you know, you're in your background, you surf, extreme sports, um, dirt bites. I'm just looking. Um, to me, extreme sports can be walking. So um, what... What are some of the extreme sports, and do you still participate in some of these? Are you jumping out of airplanes, for example? Yeah, not really, but I'm I'm, I'm a big backcountry skier. I like kite surfing, surfing, but mainly kite surfing. And this is, for me, um, you know, Dimas Aleri said once when surfing was not so popular, they said the, the surfer is the actual being living in the here and now because the wave behind him is already gone. So the path doesn't exist, and the wave in front of him is not there yet. So he's in the here and now. And I think everything what has to do with extreme sports brings you in this moment of, of you know, you cannot, you cannot be in your in your thought process. You need to be really in the moment. You know, there's no no mind, mind and, call it. And 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 you you live on a ranch. Um, do you grow stuff on it? Uh, raise, I mean, horses. Uh, the, the, in Malibu has become a um, a mecca for winemakers too. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not. I'm not growing much. We have fruit trees and stuff like this. But what I'm what I'm actually building right now, uh, I'm building a meditation dome. So it's a sound dome where you expose to a certain frequency. People uh, sit in a cycle. And um, yeah, and, and they're exposed to different sulfatio frequencies that tune together. So this is more or less what, what's going on here. Got it. Uh, there's a big uh, dome. I don't know if it's a meditation dome in Las Vegas that was just built. And um, it was absolutely, it's huge. And, uh, and it's all wired for sound uh, because they're, they're going to do I guess YouTube played there when they opened a week ago or two weeks ago. And um, it's, it's supposed to be fabulous. So I'm interested in the dome. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation about the Love Tuner's book. One Journey, the Love Tuner's book. And we'll find out about the Love Tuner itself, talk about frequencies, and, um, and see how it can change our lives. Don't go away. More coming up as Late Night Help continues. Late Night Help is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. You're listening to Late Night Help with Mark Allen. 
The show continues in a moment. Recently, I met Jacqueline from Bright here in Los Angeles. She gave me a hearing exam and then showed me how to hear again with the new Signia Pure Series hearing aids, and she can give you your life back too. I hear birds chirping, birds cooing, and even my wife. They easily connect to my smartphone. The Signia hearing aids are amazing, and with the charge and go, I don't have to fiddle with batteries and hear all day long. Not hearing is frustrating for you and your family. I know, you don't have a problem, but trust me, call Bright here now for a free hearing exam, a $125 value, yours free, just for making an appointment now. There are offices throughout the Los Angeles area. Call Bright here now at 323-424-7100. That's 323-424-7100 for a free hearing exam. There's no obligation. Call now, 323-424-7100, or visit them on the web at brighthear.com. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents or just have fun find out about the advertising opportunities with late night health call us at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at late night health.com that's info at late night health.com join late night health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care call now at 805-391-0308 that's 805-391-0308 Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Words are a critical aspect of success. How you get your point across is a crucial part of what makes anything sell. So do it right and hire a writer. Whether it's articles, blog posts, technical writings, website content, product descriptions, or ghost writing anything from a novel to a nonfiction book about your navel, contact Servette Hassan. If you want it to sell, write it right. Email Servette at Servette at ServetteHassan.com. It's time to tackle a tough topic, one that affects us all. We're talking about sexism in the workplace. The award-winning Identifying the Elephant in the Room series is back and ready to tackle some complicated communications issues again. This spring, we're focusing on critical communication strategies in the face of sexism. Join us as we hear from professionals in the natural products industry who have valuable career lessons to share and real-world experience to discuss from all sides of the elephant. It's time to have an honest and open conversation about the impact of sexism in the workplace and how we can make it better for everyone. Identifying the Elephant in the Room series starts March 16th. Register today at inicibox.vfairs.com. That's I-N-I-C-I-B-O-X dot V F A I R S dot com and join the conversation to be part of the solution. Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. We're talking about uh, life, really. And we're talking about life with purpose. And we're doing that with our guest, uh, Sigmar Berg. Uh, Sigmar, life with purpose, can meditation help do that? Yeah, it absolutely does. Because like you know, and everybody has this experience, you know, when uh, when you're busy all day or you keep yourself busy, that's one thing. But if you sit by yourself, and this is why a lot of people say, oh, I can't sleep because as soon as the, whatever, the distraction or the job or whatever is done, then suddenly all these thoughts start racing and you're firing about 75,000 thoughts a day. So it's constant. And if, if you can interrupt this, this bombardment of thoughts and and calm your mind, it just helps you. You know, it's like it it releases anxiety, it it makes you more relaxed. And what it does in the long run, it prevents panic attacks, burnout, etc. And and this is just the physical aspect. And which would help all those guys in those horrible positions that we yeah. talked about yeah. in the Absolutely. first first, yeah. first part. 
Um, let's talk about frequencies. Uh, you've created the Love Tuner, and I think is that what you're wearing around your neck? Yeah, that's it. It's it's a little necklace, and it holds a single tone flute, what is calibrated to 528 hertz. And when you play, it's actually an instrument. Uh, and 528 hertz is understood the DNA repair, the miracle frequency, or the love frequency. And and interesting enough. The most famous um, love and peace song in the world from John Lennon, Imagine, was composed in 528 hertz. And, and so he had the knowledge about this healing frequency. And um, the 528 hertz is actually not an invention from anyone. It's the so-called forgotten note. So in the 30s and even centuries before the church, out of Hitler for the Second World War, the Rockefellers made a new definition about our musical scale. And what actually happened is the, the A tone um, got changed from 444 hertz to 440. And this made the C note on 528 hertz disappear. So, and why do we make a note disappear if it has no meaning? So it, that, 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 that's an answer. So I think, I think connecting to a healing frequency can absolutely heal you, can help you, and can help you raise your consciousness and you just have better better experiences we all know when we're exposed to bad vibrations you know horrible words crazy sounds loud noises the stresses are out and the 528 hertz is the complete opposite so it looks to me like a whistle okay i yeah. how did how does it work uh so what you basically do is like i don't know if you can hear this on the show but i'm gonna play it real quick Daryl, can you hear that? Because you hear better than I cannot. No, I can't. Either. I mean, five hundred to six hundred hertz is certainly within the audible range, but uh, no, it's it's. Not. I, I think it, it it just not really work through so soon. But uh, what you basically do is like you hold this this audible tone of this frequency, and it gives you a feedback about your exhale. So you're doing a conscious breathing break. You arrive in the here and now, and on a spiritual level you and invite a lot of good vibrations into your body into your system and, and yeah, it helps you to instantly relax and you have the same the same proven output like a 20 minute transcendental meditation within six minutes of love tuning we measured this multiple times uh and we did this with a bioresonance feedback machine and we get the same results on both of our brain, um, a brain house. And, and this is the interesting thing. So it literally does the same thing. You don't have to have any experiences spiritually, no matter what. If you follow the leaflet, you in no time can learn an easy way to meditate. So I wake up in the morning. I'm agitated because I've got bills to pay, uh, family obligations that horrible job that I have that um, that may, be, may or may not be powerful. Uh, and my powerful boss has been calling me all night, yelling at me, leaving me, you know, text messages, et cetera. Can this help relax? And how do I use that? Um, it, it does look like a whistle. Uh, it, and you, you blow into it, correct? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it, it you know, like, Back in the days when, when you woke up in the morning and you have this radio, whatever alarm, and you heard the first song and it stayed with you all day long, no matter if you liked it or not, this is basically what, what always happens. So when the first thing in the morning is that you grab your iPhone and you have five text messages from your boss or whatever it is, yeah, there might be good stuff or bad stuff. Um, why would you set this tone with a bad vibration? You know, the worst thing is you can turn on the, the, the news while you're still in bed. You know, like this is, boom, all the negativity comes right to you. Uh, but if you do something for yourself, and I'm, it's not about even promoting the love tuna, but if you find, you know, a practice for yourself that works, in this case, it's the love tuna, and you do this before you do anything else, before you really wake up, before you even say good morning to your beloved one, you just tune for yourself and you're setting the vibration of the day, the tone of the day. Every negativity that comes afterwards comes afterwards. And, and it, it does not solve your problem, 
but it gives you a different perspective to it. And and it's it's for sure better to stay in this vibration than turning on the bad news and this is the first thing that hits you in the morning. Do you uh, how long do you do that for? Uh, one minute, 10 minutes? So like we recommend to do six breathing cycle and this is more or less related to how long you can exhale. I mean it's not a competition but anything between three, three and five minutes. And I do it consciously when I wake up, then I do it later on, when, whatever, when I'm outside, when I go on a walk, and I definitely do it in the evening. And, and so, and if there's a, a stress point in your day? A- anytime. This is why you basically wear it around your neck, either if you have to hide it because of your position, or you can be a proud, a proud person that, you know. I would wear it, I will, I will, I would wear it proudly. Outside, people should see it. Um, are there other frequencies that can help people, or is this the one that you found through research that that helps? I mean, the, all those frequencies come out of one um, um, frequency pool. These are like the six main so-called solfatio frequencies, and the 528 hertz frequency happens to be the most profound ones if it comes to healing, spiritual awareness, raising consciousness. There's there are different other frequencies in the olfactory frequencies that have like whatever, help you uh, with pain and so on. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with frequencies. And I think we just forgot about it because bioresonance, for example, is frequency. So a machine actually, you know, helps you with frequency and vibration to heal. And I mean, Nikola Tesla invented his first um, uh, bioresonance machine about more than 100 years ago. And the only thing is there's not as much money in this thing because people are not staying con- constantly and constantly sick. So our, our medical system just went the pill way. We could also stay on the frequency healing. So it's an old, old knowledge. Oh. And there's a lot of frequencies that can help people heal. We'll have to talk about that in our next conversation. Uh, uh, if uh, a frequency can replace pills and big pharma, I'm all for it. Uh, I'm really interested in coming over and taking a look at your uh, dome when it's done and um, and learning more about that. I, I had a thought. Porpoises, um, dolphins, and whales all speak at different um frequencies exactly uh right yeah. and they're they're very soothing and we don't have time to answer so that will be our first question next time will you come back i will come back i really enjoyed the show mark Great Good. thank you thank you hold on a second uh what is your uh website where can people uh, find you it's lovetuner.com love tuner Dot com. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. I know you're rushing to uh, to an, a meeting, and I promised to get you out two minutes ago. Uh, I'm Mark Allen. Daryl, as always, thank you very much. My pleasure. And uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Uh, we will see you next time. Have a good week, everybody. Have a great week. Most importantly, have a healthy week. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.